In just over a week, the COVID-19 public health emergency declaration will end, causing changes to COVID tests and vaccines. For Susan Ines, Kim Liedholm has more about what these changes will look like. On May 11th, the public health emergency surrounding COVID-19 is ending, and while testing and vaccines for COVID will still be available, access won't be the same. Individuals should consider kind of stacking up at, for at-home tests um, because that coverage will be changing. Um, some individuals, um, such as those with Medicaid, will have a lengthened period where their insurance will still cover that. But for most individuals, kind of the the supply that's available right now through places like say yes to the COVID test, um, those supplies will be ending um, in May. Access to vaccines will also look different, but Christina Ritz, a public health nurse with the Eau Claire City County Health Department says those changes may not be immediate. The federal government still has a supply of purchased um, vaccine. And so for the time being, nothing changes. Vaccine is still free. Um, at some point when that vaccine supply is gone, we were, we're anticipating it will become commercialized and be um, available more like other vaccines through health insurance or other types of coverage. Ritz says last fall, the latest bivalent vaccine became available to the public and those who got the vaccine should be up to date, with a few exceptions. Individuals 65 and older, if they've already had the bivalent vaccine, as long as four months has passed, they're able to get another vaccine to stay up to date or to stay to have coverage against disease. And then individuals who are immunocompromised or um, have immunocompromising conditions are able to get another bivalent vaccine two months following their last dose. Ritz says individuals who are interested to learn more about how their coverage of tests and vaccines will change should contact their health care provider. In Eau Claire, Kim Lead Home, First News at 9.